I've had a couple questions about my piece of junk car here. Uh, it's a 5.3 sloppy stage two, billet 7875 for VS Racing. Cheap used air to air intercooler crammed up in the front there. Run around back over here, putting a blow off valve in this pipe, that's why it's not in here. Got the uh, ICT billet relocation there so the belt doesn't rub on anything except the hose now. <laughs> Uh, got the factory truck manifolds that came on this 2003 Suburban motor turned backwards. Put some V-bands on them. They do clear a manual steering box there, but it was really close. I had to cut it down and close up the EGR boss that was on there. There's a probably quarter inch of clearance from that steering box and the manifold, but it works. Uh, the mounts are homemade. You can see them down here. Homemade pieces of gas pipe and just metal plates from Menards, just cheap garbage, but it works. And that's the, the cuts that you put from the Schumacher motor mounts for the 318 swap that I did previously. Same thing on this side, the other factory manifold turned backwards, plenty of space there. Got some nice elbows here. I want to say this is two and a half inch pipe, I don't remember, it's either two and a half or two and a quarter. Cheapy blow-off valve recirculated into the 4-inch downpipe. The drain for the turbo is way down in here somewhere going to the side of the GTO pan. You can see my K-member mods down in there. I had to cut quite a bit out of it, but that GTO fan pan fits pretty nice. If I had to do it again, I would make, uh, cut up a rear sump and turn it into a mid-sump with an aftermarket pan like Richard did. But uh, other than that, there's not a whole lot of room down here for doing a full downpipe to the back of the car because the torsion bars and the trans are pretty tight down there. I will still try that, but we'll see how far that goes. I don't know. For now, the 4-inch fender dumper is a lot of fun. It makes a lot of noise and is uh, too loud for daily use, I would say, even though I like loud things. Taurus fan fits pretty nice. It's like 60 bucks from the junkyard. The... I think it's the 69 Camaro radiator. I had to trim the front frame rail a little bit to make that fit in there. This will probably get upgraded this season to something nicer, but this was like 60 bucks and it got me rolling. There's that. Otherwise, just a, it's a stock motor with a cam and springs in it. 4L80 fits pretty good. I ended up cutting the floor a little bit, but not ridiculous. This is the only cut I actually had to make in the floor here. And this is just to get the uh, humps there. You see the, the fittings, I put, put the uh, banjo cooler fittings on there. New awesome floor pans that are filled with water currently. Excellent. But uh, yeah, a half done cage that's terrible, but you know, there. And uh, yeah, so 480, it's got a custom drive shaft, eight and three quarter with the 275 Pros back here. That mini tub job that's also terrible to match the rest of the car. But it fits pretty good. Stock worn out springs relocated to my terrible frame rail repair. Those are the Smith Racecraft Assassin bars that are about one third of the way installed. Haven't gotten that done yet. Awaiting some better weather here probably. Cheap fuel cell, cheap battery. Battery ratchet strap to the fuel cell for safety. Uh, flat trunk floor because the spare tire wheel is all rusted out. But uh, there's a single Walbro 255 crammed up here on the frame rail behind a cheapy Summit filter. I've got a uh, trans cooler. I've got a pair of 450s going in the tank now. I'm putting them in a separate. I had to have a different cell in the garage that I came with in our car that I bought. That's going to have a pair of 450s in it. I got a nice. Take you over there. Got a nice billet fuel filter to put in there. So my terrible aluminum welding. Ugh. I need to farm that out. But I've got a nice billet fancy 10 micron fuel filter to go underneath where that current pump is. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully get this junk back on the road sooner than later.